I'm gonna build my bird feeder there. I have to have it nine feet off the ground. And I'm gonna build it right on the other side of that tree so I can get a good view of all the little birds. So these are all the pieces of wood I purchased. I'm only gonna use two, three, maybe four of them uh, to build my bird feeder post. So the reason I'm building a bird feeder post is because our home is located within the community. The community is sort of like a co-op in the city of New York. And I had a, a bird feeder from, I had a cable running from that tree over to this tree. And I had the bird feeder hanging off of it. And they told me that, you know, I had it for years. And then they told me that um, the rules say I'm not allowed to do that. So I have to do my own post. I took it down and I miss watching the birds in the morning uh, feeding. So I'm going to put it right alongside that tree. Okay, that's my post. That's the bottom part. Just to let you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm making it up as, it, as I go. Those are two by fours by nine posts. I put four of them together to make it sturdy. I found this platform in the garage, so I'm gonna dig a hole, hopefully, or dig enough dirt from underneath here so I can put that underneath and then drop the dirt on top of it so the pole looks like it's just coming out of the earth by itself. And, um, see I put, I'm sorry, three, five of them. So three together with four inch screws. Um, just trying to make it as strong as possible so it doesn't just fall over um, and it stays in the ground. So I'm going to try to do that and put it underneath. So let me start digging my hole. I know I'm going overboard, so don't even bother commenting on that, I know that. Uh, I just want it to be permanent. Just try to make it as permanent as I could. And to me, this was the easiest way. And I have it leaning against this thing that's falling, it's dying. So I'm gonna use it to lean against it so when the wind comes, it doesn't move too much. Do you think it's deep enough now? I, I, I think so. All right, let's try it out. It's a little trench hole. Okay. This uh, bird feed is like a trough, and it takes about, uh, I don't know, 20 or 30 pounds of food. So when I uh, fill it up, it lasts about a couple of weeks. Um, and I get to watch all my birds. So get into your painting gear so you can paint the pole, okay? No, you're going to mess those up. You need something that you can throw away if you have to. You know what? I'll, I'll just get you something. Okay. You could put a garbage bag around it. 
cut around. No, no, I want to paint it so it at least look like the lands looks like the landscape. Yeah, I'll spray paint it. No. But I don't have another idea. Hold on one moment. So uh, we buried everything as you can see. Super duper weight on it. I kind of just have it temporarily on this thing. Leaning against the tree so I could get some uh, leverage. I could kind of get it stable. So after it all settles in, I'm going to cut those things off because you won't need it anymore. And that's it. This thing will stay there forever, hopefully. This at Lowe's. This is a 40 pound bag. And let's see how much I can get. Because that thing holds a lot. So I stand corrected, I actually got the whole 40 pound bag up there, in there. I put some in the small little tray at the bottom, but pretty much the 40 pounds of food are in there. And it's pretty cool because it uh, I don't have to fill it up, it lasts a really long time. Even with the squirrels eating it, it still lasts a while. So I can already hear the birds coming. Okay. Let me finish up and I'll do one shot when I'm done. Okay. I'm done. I'll do one last video tomorrow if there's birds available. Hopefully. There'll be a lot of birds around this uh, bird feeder. And I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, the reason I'm doing this is because in our uh, community, we're not allowed to hang things off trees. So I, I had a lot of bird feeders hanging off the trees. I loved watching them in the morning and in the afternoon feeding. But they made us take them all down. I had to figure something else out. So yeah, I went above or I went overboard, I should say. But hopefully it'll be there for a really long time, for years. And uh, hopefully there'll be birds here tomorrow. It's winter, so it's difficult to get food. So they'll go to whatever source they can get. I am getting some birds. Let me see if I can. Ah, this one up there. Yep. So the birds are enjoying their bird feeder. Yep, there's one right there. Ah, come on, land in the bird feeder. There he is. So he just grab food and run. I like it. Came out very nice, I think.
All right. I hope you like the video. Thank you. Bye.